We have here Carl from Walsall, Nick from Benediction, and Martin from Esfix. And um, yeah, first question goes out to Carl. You see, I see on the posters <coughs> of the tour the logo. This time it's war, and it seems to me like this time it's war. You got imprisoned just like a couple of days ago. Uh, I'd like to tell a story. Yeah, well, we kind of like we thought we might this kind of a, this tour a bit of a point because we've got a lot of like scores to settle with people over in Europe with regards to bootlegging for a start, which we don't approve of. So the other day we went to. Uh, an unnamed record store and uh, and we kind of went there and took what stock belonged to us, bootlegs. You know, what stuff they had illegally, you know, recorded and produced belonging to us, you know, the, the music belonging to us. We went and, and took that from the store. In the process, um, they called the police to stop us from doing that. And uh, basically the police went down on our side because basically bootlegging was wrong. Our material. They were breaking the copyright laws, and so they're being prosecuted right now, along with several other unnamed record shops, which do the same thing. We're trying to get to the bottom of people that are bootlegging stuff because you know it's wrong and making money from that as well. So uh, we're out there to bust their ass. <laughs> One to us. And there's a few other things out there as well, which we're trying to sell as well. A few of the scores with various promoters that are trying to mess us around, you know, and other things like that. So. So, what about Benediction? You, you did that tour last year with Massacre from uh, France. Uh, what is the difference with, between uh, playing now with Bolthor and playing headlining shows with Massacre? The difference is now we get off a bit early and we can have a drink. Instead of we just stay sober, <laughs> stay sober till 10 o'clock. No good. Half nine now I'm down in it and these boys do the work. Now it's good fun but there's, uh, there's no room on stage. They don't give us any space. It's bad to us. <laughs> no, no space for backline, no, no space for drum kit. Bad guys, never want to tour with them again. No way. No, it's good fun. It's really good fun. So to talk about Aspects a little bit, just released, Crush the Cenotaph, a new EP. Okay. So you got some uh, really old stuff on this album from the old demos. So are you such slow uh, songwriters that you couldn't have, that you couldn't use any new stuff or what is the reason for using old stuff? Uh, the reason for the old demo songs is that loads of fans wrote this after the record album. Why do you guys uh, not record any old demo stuff on the album? So we asked Century Media, like, uh, is it alright if we do old demo stuff, just especially for the fans on this mini album? And they said yes, and we hope that people are pleased with it. But that's about it. So I realized that the guys from Benediction played some cover songs tonight. It's like. I realized Fortune Fire from uh, Anvil, so, so I suppose you like this band. Yeah, the gods, the metal gods, it's the basics of everything, isn't it? You've got Sabbath, like the uh, the death sort of side sort of thing to it, and then you've got the uh, the metal heads and Anvil just dead on, and Fortune Fire is the best track they ever did, and we all like it. We, we did it in uh, rehearsal a few times, it was the same with Return to the Eve, the one we did on the album. We just did it in practice and it sounded good, so... As an extra track, it's not harming anyone. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, the, the new 12 inch now is like 25 minutes long, you know, which is, is, is almost as long as some albums. Yeah. So we just chuff it. It's just an extra track. It's we all like. Yeah. And I'm chuffed. War Masters, just more than a year ago. So I bet we can expect a new Evolve for our LP soon. So do we can expect uh, more stories about mankind and fate and some stories by Prophet Carl? Who knows to be a cryptic, but uh, I don't know. We're basically going to record the LP in, in May. Uh, it's going to be called Fourth Crusade. It's going to be like carrying on from that topic in your hair. So um, yeah, it's probably along the same vein, but uh, we're going to branch out a bit more. I'll put that's all I'm going to say for now. You have to wait till the LP comes out, which will probably be around uh, around August time. And then we're going to probably do another European tour, say October, November, to promote the fourth, you know, the LP, fourth crusade in October, November. So, and then you'll you'll see what it's all about. But it's, it'll surprise people. It's going to be a lot, a lot cleaner, a lot faster, a lot slower, but very bulk lower. 
Um, a question from all the death metal fans who just fell in love with Joe Bent, the bass player from Balfour. There's rumors circling around that she's married, so is it true, is it not true? She's virtually married to the band. No, she, she goes out, she's going out with, uh, with Gav, she's been going out with Gav for four or five years. Yeah, and basically she's a good bass player and that's what she's in the band for. So uh, it's hard luck, lads. <laughs>